I'm Evie Knapsiger. This is my eighth year teaching at Bethany. I taught three years in the high school, and now this is my fifth year in the middle school. Hello, I am Adam Friesen Miller, the fourth grade teacher here at Bethany. My name is Eileen Becker Hoover. I have been working at Bethany for 20 to 25 plus years. I'm Michael Yake. It's my fifth year of teaching at Bethany. My name is Linda Hostetler, and I teach fifth grade at Bethany Christian Schools. I'm Juanita Hirschberger. I am in my sixth year of teaching at Bethany. I teach sixth grade language arts. Okay. I am Beth Breezer, and I'm one of the sixth grade teachers here at Bethany Christian. I teach a number of different subjects, and language arts is one of them. In language arts, we have the writing component and the reading component. One of the things that I've seen um, changing over the years is the fact that we're going more from group reading, novel studies, that kind of thing, to a more individualized approach. This pushes them to improve at their own pace and hopefully find genres and topics that interest them and get them hooked into reading a little bit more. Along with that, with writing, we are focusing on different genres. Um, we have covered um, informational writing, uh, where they've had to research and do a lot of those pieces, collecting notes, putting that together. Um, we've written realistic fiction so far this year. Uh, we've written a persuasive piece. Um, and right now we are in the midst of historical fiction writing. And this has been a lot of fun. The students have done research on the Great Depression and they've created presentations and we've learned, uh, first of all, getting ourselves immersed in that whole time period. Um, and then we've had some guest speakers that actually were children during that time period to hear about what they ate, uh, potato soup over popcorn. Um, and now we are at the point of actually writing historical fiction. Mrs. Greaser and I each teach our homeroom for language arts. As you might expect, we focus on reading, writing, and word study. Sixth graders are expected to read from a variety of genres. Each student's goal is to read at least six books per quarter at their Lexile level. I conference with students about their reading as well as have them respond in their reading journals. This allows me to check for comprehension as well as learn to know my students on a different level. Overall, in language arts for fifth grade, we do a combination of literature, writing, grammar, um, and reading. Um, the iPads have been great. The children put their spelling words on the iPads and then the, the iPad program comes up with different games, word searches, and word scrambles that the kids can use as they practice their spelling words. Even with grammar, if kids are having a hard time with a certain grammar concept, then I can find programs on their iPads that will let them individually practice what they need to work on. Language arts in fourth grade here. We do a lot of reading, independent reading. They have their own books. Talk about which books we like and finding the right book and just getting excited about reading. We also work on comprehension, reading the book, explaining the book, talking about what it's, what it's all about. In eighth grade, we read some favorites we read, and then there were none, the, the mystery by Agatha Christie that the kids usually love, and we read The Outsiders, which they actually, they really love that one. And then we always do some Shakespeare at the end of the year. And usually I get moans and groans as we go into Shakespeare, and at the end, a lot of kids, well, more, they surprise themselves. Um, often, they wish we had more time for Shakespeare and not, and not less time. They find it more interesting than they thought they would. So it's, it's, I like to give them a taste of it before they get to high school, and um, usually they have fun with the way we do it in class. This is an, an initiative in grade nine, and in the fall semester involves writing eight chapters of an autobiography for each student. It gives them experience reading a lot of excerpts from various autobiographies and writing a lot of different modes. So for example, they'll write a couple of narratives. One is a story from before they were born, Another is a story from later um, in their life that probably had a significant impact on the kind of person that they are. They also do uh, a descriptive essay focusing on their home, their neighborhood, their community. They uh, write an opinion column. 
they write an expository essay which includes research into um, their culture and their traditions. So they get this broad experience about um, who they are. Look, I get to learn who they are, and they get to learn a lot about different kinds of writing. And in the literature class, the South or the junior class, we cover a lot of um, kinds of literature. We do poetry, we do dramas, we do novels and short stories. And students also research one author of their own choosing and find out as much as they can about that author, that author's background, um, that author's main works, themes, um, things of that nature. So most of what we do in the 11th and 12th grade classes in terms of research is student-directed. Uh, students decide what they would like to do, who they'd like to know more about as juniors, what subject they'd like to find out more about as seniors.